Hey everyone, and welcome back. So today, we're going to be reviewing Out of Line for the Nintendo Switch. Now, Out of Line is a puzzle platformer with a gripping, almost watercolor-like aesthetic. And it releases today, August 19th of 2021, on the Nintendo Switch eShop, and will be selling for $12.99. Now, just before we jump right into the review, I just want to take a couple of seconds to thank the developer for the review code and to remind you all that if you like what you see, to please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Now, in this game, you play as a character named San, with a very simple objective to escape the factory that was once his home. Although it's important to note that even this little bit of story is pulled from the eShop page description because the game itself has no dialogue or text. Rather, the story is told by the environment itself in a very artistic way, and I feel is left open to the interpretation of the player in a very voluntary fashion. Now, I also do feel that this game's story is very much about the journey and not necessarily the destination. And to fully enjoy it, you need to take the time to enjoy the open storyline told by its environment. Because something has obviously corrupted this factory that was once home, and clearly the only solution is escape. Now, there is no combat in this game, and the spear type item you get early in the game is a puzzle solving instrument only. In actuality, the only true abilities you possess is a jump, and the use of the spear that can be thrown to activate switches, used as a platform, and even block up gears, as well as many other applications that you'll discover throughout your journey. You will also encounter other characters throughout your journey, that at times you will have to assist through obstacles, and occasionally they will do the same for you. Now, although the abilities are simplistic, the various applications they find for them through the environment are numerous and keep the gameplay feeling fresh from start to finish. Now for me, the high point of the gameplay were the few chase sequences spread throughout the adventure that added a sense of urgency and spiced up the gameplay. And overall, it was nice to balance out the more slow-paced puzzle sections. If you've already played games like Limbo, the whole gameplay setup here will feel very familiar, although with a much brighter aesthetic. Now, talking about that almost watercolor-like aesthetic, when you combine it with an atmospheric soundtrack and the amazing world it creates, it really is the high point of this game. And personally, the open interpretation of the storyline is something I enjoyed quite a bit. Without any spoilers, especially the closing sequence of the game spoke to me greatly. And more specifically, seeing the dedication of the game to the developer's grandparents leads me to believe I understood that closing sequence along how it was meant to be understood. It was beautiful, yet sad as well. Now where I think this game might disappoint a few people is that overall it can be finished most likely between two to three hours of gameplay. And the puzzles, although interesting, at least on my end, never got very challenging. And I would have definitely preferred a little bit of a harder challenge, especially towards the end of the journey. They do ramp up slightly, but still, in my opinion, not enough. Also, I'm going to mention that although I enjoyed the open storyline, I do think you have to be open to the artistic vision behind this, and that could be lost to some gamers. So now, let's talk about the verdict of this game. And if this is the first time you're watching one of my reviews, the scale I use is down below in the description of the video. Now, exceptionally for this game, I'm going to be doing something very unusual. I'm going to be giving it two different scores. Now, the first score I'm going to be giving is going to be from a reviewer's perspective, meaning based solely on the gameplay and the storyline that is explicitly told within the game. Second, I'm going to be giving it a personal score based on my overall enjoyment of the game as an experience. Ultimately, after that, it will be up to you to decide what type of experience and game you're after, and which category would be more applicable to you as a gamer. Now, based solely on my perspective as a reviewer, I would have to give this game a 7. 
making it nonetheless a good game. Overall, it has solid gameplay and extremely appealing visuals. However, the short gameplay time and the low difficulty level means that experienced puzzle platformers might be left wanting. And if you don't connect with the abstract nature of the storyline in this game, it won't blow you away. I do find, however, that even based on this score, this is a perfect game to introduce someone to the puzzle platformer genre. Now, if we move on to my personal score, I would actually give this game a 9 out of 10, making it an excellent game. And ultimately, this score has a lot to do with the statement I made at the beginning of this review, where I stated that the journey itself sometimes is the reward and not just the destination. And when I look back at the journey as a whole and the message that the game delivered, although the game was short, I still feel blown away by the overall experience I had with it. However, the score is still not perfect because the payoff for this game would have felt even better had there been more challenge towards the end of the journey. Ultimately, if you still remain unsure of which category you fall into, you can always wait for a sale. I will definitely be mentioning this game on eShop deals as soon as a good sale hits. But on a personal level, I would feel very satisfied with this game even if I had paid full price. So now I'd like to know what do you think? Are you going to be picking up out of line? And don't forget on the way out that if you like this review, to please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when all my future videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see you in my next video.